Okay, what brings you in for another one of the PCA peels that you love so much today? It's some of this little breakout you're getting here. Yes, and since it's the start of summer season, I do that and we're going to dry. See, they start to get that dryness, which then causes the little razor bumps. Mm -hmm. And I see you have one or two little small breakouts. Um, our experience working together uh, with PCA Sensipeel seems to really work on this type of skin. Um, the PCA peel is designed to work on all skin types, conditions, and sensitivities. It's effective on acne, pigment disorders, aging skin, smoker skin, photo damage skin, which being in Florida, we do get a lot of the photo damage and the sun damaged skin. So it's, it's sensitive enough to even use our rosacea or active acne. Um, Gabe doesn't really have any of that. The little bit of redness he has is just probably from shaving before coming in today. But it really does cause him to have a little bit of just kind of breakout and, and shaving bumps. And um, with him, we have found that the PCA peel seems, the sense appeal seems to do the trick. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. You know, the first thing we like to do is to wash the skin. Constant shaving means more exfoliation. So we do end up sometimes with skin that's a little bit raw and sensitive. I've never had a problem using the sense appeal on any type of skin. So I've treated um, Gabe constantly in the past. We always get good results. It just seems that he was due again, like he said, because of the change in seasons and the humidity in Florida can sometimes cause that seasonal transition kind of breakout, which is basically what he's having. In a week from now, all of this will be gone, and he will look, his skin will be back to normal. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the toner, which is a way to test for sensitivity, make sure we can proceed with the sensitive heel. So let me go ahead and start that. Now we're going to be applying the deep greaser toner. And this is also a good way to make sure that we can proceed with the sensitive heel to figure out if there's any sensitivity to the toner, which would be an indication that maybe today wouldn't be a good time to proceed. Now, Gabe, do you feel any sensitivity to that? No. Yeah, usually with the toner, there isn't that much sensitivity. We like to dry it out a little bit. So is it even registering one? Okay, good. So now what we can do is we can proceed with the sense of So we start off with the first layer and we're going to start. Basically every summer Gabe's skin seems to go through some sort of a transitional breakout. As I look through his folder I can just almost clock the time. So that was the first layer, and we're going to wait a little bit. Okay, on a scale from 1 to 10, are you feeling anything? No. Not even a 1 yet? No. Nothing? Okay. I mean, he does have that Fitzpatrick 1-2 resilient skin, so it's 
very easy to work on this type of skin. It is really good about sunblock and moisturizing. It's just that this Florida heat sometimes needs a little bit of help on our skin. So we're now applying layer number two. It's quick and easy. The sense appeal can be done on your lunch hour. Now Gabe, I know that usually during summer you end up shaving your beard completely. Is that kind of what you're doing now, little steps? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I figured this one. So what, you want to clear this area up before we go into the rest? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's great about the sense appeal is that I can treat him again with another peel in two weeks. So once he decides to shave the rest of the beard, we analyze what's underneath there, and in two weeks we can go ahead and do a, another treatment. Now, um, how are you on the scale from one to ten? Any sensitivity at all? No. Nothing? Okay, so that makes it safe for us to proceed. And we can do up to six layers of this. And like I said, we can then treat it again in two to three weeks, which I feel is a better way to gradually peel the skin rather than to have one extremely aggressive laser or harsh chemical peel, especially in Florida where you don't want to, ex you know, your, that new skin is going to be exposed to sun, a lot of sun this time of year. So I, I like to be more sensible and do the layers and wait two weeks and layer it again till we get the perfect result that each client needs. So now we're on layer number three. You feeling anything yet, Gabe? I just feel like it's a warm, tingly. So on a scale of one to ten, what is it? Like a one. A one. Now I can see a little bit of rosiness happening, which is very normal. It usually subsides by the next morning. But again, he's not really even feeling anything, so this allows me to proceed. He has very resilient skin. always telling me that his skin is very sensitive and dehydrates and we find that this even helps with that. I like to treat these areas here with normal and with the wrinkles. Let's just say that gait is 40-ish. That's because he really does take good care of his skin. It's really minimal wrinkling. He does use hyaluronic serum a lot and he uses a lot of sunblock. I know for a fact that he carries sunblock in his car and in his backpack. Any tingling or sensation? Still warm. Just still warm on a scale of 1 to 10? Still at 1. Still at 1. Okay. If this were his first time, I would stop at the fourth layer. Just so we can, I mean, there's no rush. We can analyze the skin in a week. We can decide whether we need to treat again in a second week. And normally, first time, I would like to stop at a four. But Gabe has had these before, and uh, we usually take it to six layers, and he has excellent results with it. So I don't feel the need to be super cautious. We already know how his skin reacts to this. How are we doing? Good. Yeah. Let that dry. You know, I can actually see the in a week or two where he shaves the rest of his beard that we're gonna have a little bit of issues in this area here. So then that'll be a, a really good time to retreat these areas in case there's any leftover, which most of these little bumps are gonna be done. And then we'll focus on his jawline and this area here. So it's summer shave down for day. And sense to heal treatments to keep, keep his skin looking fresh. That was our sixth layer.
On a scale from one to ten, what would that be on two? No more than two. What I'm applying now is the rejuvenating serum. This is a wonderful product that is part of the whole Sensi Peel protocol. The rejuvenating serum with just a small amount applied will help stimulate cell division, fight against free radical damage, and soothe the skin. So we want to make sure that that quickly penetrates. which will help with increased exfoliation and will also help with hydration. So we want to make sure that his skin stays hydrated. I do like to be a little bit heavy handed with the Ultra Peel 2. I just love this step of the peel. such a wonderful product. It gets readily absorbed. I mean, you saw how much I put and you can see how it is just absorbing into the skin. And that is going to keep the skin a little bit hydrated in the coming days. The last two steps are the rebalance treatment, which is very calming and hydrating after the layers that we've put of the Sensi Peel. And we finish off, of course, with the Perfecting Protection Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Very important that we go ahead and protect this skin during the next few days. Um, I have found that I like to mix these two together. So what I like to do is just kind of mix them together. I find that this Broad Spectrum Sunblock is a little bit on the thick side and when I combine it with the rebalance it really gives me a wonderful finish and you can see how easily it glides there's no real residual like right now if you have to he could go right back to work there's really no downtime today or discomfort um, later on today, his skin is going to look great, and tomorrow too. And we're going to follow this up with the take-home kit that PCA provides with all its peels. So we're going to be discussing that now. How Gabe takes care of his skin in the next week will enhance the success of the PCA peel. Um, the great part about the system is that it includes this post-procedure solution kit, which includes uh, six products that he will be using for the next seven days. Um, you've used this before, right? Yes, yeah. and when I follow the instructions, it actually lasts a couple of days longer than the seven. Okay, really good. What's your favorite product in here? The Nighttime Moisture. The Silk Coat Balm, everybody seems to really like that. Um, this is a wonderful kit, it's a wonderful system. The PCA Sense Appeal, it works on all skin types, in all climates, it's a wonderful, safe, and effective peel solution.